All right. Well, this is Joanne Fisher. I am an assistant editor here at Black and Married with Kids.com, which is the largest African American marriage and, marriage and parenting site on the web. And I am so fired up to be talking to uh, one of the greats out there. Uh, we are actually starting to hit the dog days of summer, uh, but there's still plenty of time for our families to get together for that summertime classic, uh, which is, of course, the backyard barbecue. Now, whether it's a small gathering or a large family reunion, uh, firing up the grill is just the first step in making great memories of family and friends. So we are delighted to welcome here today uh, to offer us some tips on making those gatherings great. We've got Chef G. Garvin. G. Garvin, thanks so much for joining us. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Thank you. So we've got some great stuff coming up. Um, you know, we've got Labor Day coming up. You know, it's, it's the dog days of summer. They're coming to an end here. Uh, what, in your mind, makes a really great summer barbecue party? Well, you know, I think what makes a really great barbecue is, number one, family and friends. That's, that's the biggest and most important thing, the people you care about coming to spend some time with you. Uh, and then, of course, it's the menu. It's all about the menu, what you're preparing, and having some fun with the food. So you, do you think that people can have fun with the food and the party all at the same time? Oh, absolutely. There ain't no party without good food. There ain't no good food. There ain't no party. You know? So they, this is true. This is true. And, and, of course, that helps to bring the fun as well. Now, the food you serve at a barbecue is really important. What, what kinds of dishes, dishes have you found to be some really big hits but also, you know, basically pretty easy to make? Well, when you think about big hits, you want to, of course, you want to always provide the, your guests with some chicken. People just love chicken. It's universal. <laughs> um, and you can do so sure. much with it. It's still one of those great items that you can marinate. Um, you can do a dry rub. Uh, there's so many different fresh herbs you can use. So, you know, and I, I prefer bone in chicken thighs because it, it just allows you to do a really great skin grill, get that crispiness of the skin. Um, I love some short ribs. Uh, I got some short ribs with a homemade barbecue sauce. Absolutely outstanding. Um, they'll fill you up. Um, and, you know, I like to also kick it up and do some shrimp. Not a lot of people like to grill seafood, but I love a great shrimp kebab. And, of course, the veggies. You know, I'm a guy who I love to work out. Uh, even though I love good food, I want to make sure I'm, I'm getting a well-balanced meal, even at a, at a backyard barbecue. So, you know, I've got the grilled uh, veggie kebab as well. Okay. All right. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you, met, you know, of course, this is a barbecue, right? So, of course, there's got to be lots of barbecue sauce. Yes. <laughs> um, but are there any other types of sauces that people can bring to the table and, and, and still make this, you know, a really fun, you know, end of summer uh, type gig? Well, here's the thing. When you think of a sauce, it really is up to you. You can just be as creative as as, as creative as you want to be. Um, take any liquid that you love and try and make it into a marinade. It's all about making sure there's flavor. Here's the one tip I'll tell you. When it comes to marinades, you want to be sure um, you think about the sugar content and whatever you're going to marinate because you don't want the sugar to burn off the, um, the protein or the seafood or whatever you're going to grill. So, you know, I think it's about having fun with things that you love and making sauces and marinades. But it's, you know, the world is a big culinary canvas, and you can paint it however you want to. And that drives me to this point. If you do, for some reason, have a problem finding a great menu, gopt.com will provide you with everything we're doing today and even more, okay? That sounds fantastic. Now, what are some of your favorites? Oh, some of my favorites are the grilled shrimp. Uh, I absolutely love those. Um, you know, we also do this uh, lobster mac and cheese, which is a no-bake. Because when I grew up, you know, every you, you know, you put the mac and cheese in the oven, you baked it for five hours, and you cut it in little squares, and then it's like, what's the point? It's like eating sure. a cheese brick. So I got this sure. really great no-bake mac and cheese, so you make a really great cheese sauce. You add the lobster if the house has been acting right. So if <laughs> everyone's in the house is acting right, they get lobster. If not, sure, just mac sure. and cheese. Okay? Sure. And then you got to have the donut bread pudding. It's just through the roof. I mean, it's so good, right. you actually have to go eat it on the roof. Wow. That's how good it is. <laughs> wow. Now, it sounds like you've been kind of cultivating these recipes for a while. How, how old were you when you really kind of started getting into this? Because I have a son who, who kind of enjoys a little bit of cooking, well, in particular, eggs. <laughs> good way to start. How did you, uh, what, 
that that's the way to start. So, you know, one of the things I did was I taught him how to kind of make his own eggs. And I know that we kind of want to inspire the passion for healthy eating in our kids. What kind of suggestions can you give to our audience about how to do that? Well, you know, I think that if you want to start with healthy options, you can always do the egg whites. Um, you know, I feed my son really, really healthy. So in the morning for him, we make scrambled egg whites, uh, turkey sausage, and, of course, avocado, uh, fresh avocado. So it's really about your individual palate and having some creative ideas. Anything you can fry, you can bake, and that's a really good, simple philosophy. Anything you can fry, you can bake, and that's a good way to start. Wow, I've never even thought of that. That's actually really good. That's why I do what I do, Joanne. <laughs> That's why you do what you do. Come on. So um, you've got a, a culinary boot camp coming up? Yes, next year. Um we are going to do my, the G. Garvin Culinary Boot Camp where we take 100 students from all over the country and we give Fantastic. them seven days of absolute brutal cooking uh, and curriculum activities so that they can become great young chefs someday. That's awesome. Kind of take some of the weight off of the, us working moms, huh? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, as a working mom, you know, the thought of dinner every night, at least for me, can be overwhelming. What, kind of, uh, what advice can you give maybe for, like, pre-planning some healthy meals? Well, I think what you got to do when you think about pre-planning is really think about, here's, here's a really great tip, and then we're going to talk about getting the family together. When you sure. think about food for the week, think about things like um, ground turkey. Uh, think about things like um, salmon. Think about things like chicken because you can do, for example, ground turkey if you want to eat healthy um, for the week, turkey meatloaf, turkey chili, turkey meatballs, mm -hmm. um, turkey tacos so you can take one item and do turkey burgers and do four or five different things throughout the week and just sort of mix in your veggies same thing with some chicken you can do a bake you can do a sauteed you can do a grill so really think about what you're going to want to accomplish throughout the week and just and really think about the things you see and that's a really great way sure. to do it okay sure and um you indicated that th this can be a way to kind of bring the whole family together it's like this anytime Think about the really great moments in your life. It's about it all happens around the dinner table. But we know okay. how difficult it might be sometimes when your family spread out across the country. So Gold Peak has a really great contest. It's to take me home for the holidays. And what we want to mm -hmm. do is make sure we can get every single person. Well, we can't get every single person, but we can get somebody home for the holidays. <laughs> and we want you to sure. go to GoldPeakTea.com, submit a photo, and tell your story. Tell your story as to awesome. why it's important for you to get back, and we're going to try and make sure we get somebody back, and that's what it's all about. It's like the taste that brings you home. That's exactly what we want to do. That's awesome. Now, of course, as you know, we are uh, a great marriage and relationship uh, website. And for my, for me and my husband, my husband's great on the grill. Uh, mm -hmm. But he usually saves, you know, his grilling for a big cookout. What tips can you offer him or, you know, husbands or wives out there who might say, mm, want to get the fire started on the grill for a romantic night? <laughs> what, what are some things that they can do? You know, it really is about that intimate space. It's about the menu. It's about the individualizing of the food components. So throw something on the grill. Remember, hot side, warm side. It's all about, at that point, it's all about the menu. It's about the environment. If you look around here, we've got a really great table. We've got the pool. So it's really about how you set things up and how you make it happen. Around the pool, if you have a pool, if not, you know, drive to a mountaintop, do it on a mountain, throw the grill out some good food on the, on the grill and it's really about the people who are there and do you have any uh, great outdoor dessert recommendations well i gotta tell you there's a whole lot of places you can go and get dessert yeah. it's gonna be hard to find and beat the donut bread pudding that we got over here so that's <laughs> one of the best that's the best in the business i'll put it up against anybody anywhere anytime. wow <laughs> all right you got me hungry over here okay <laughs> Um, now, where can we find all these awesome recipes that you're talking about? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, you can go to goldpeaktea.com. We've got all of the recipes that we talked about there today, um, and you can have a lot of fun pulling those down. That's the sound guy. Don't worry. This is a real shoot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it goes down. Well, we really cook. See, we're really cooking. Wow, that's that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, uh, Chef G. Garvin, for joining us here at blackandmarriedwithkids.com. And uh, we're really fired up to uh, receive so many awesome, fantastic family-building tips on uh, great outdoor cooking, great outdoor grilling, 
And uh, we've got a great uh, holiday coming up here, uh, Labor Day. Uh, you got maybe uh, two or three, two or three of your top tips for having a great Labor Day cookout. Uh, two or three the of my top tips. Labor Day, cook Labor Day cookout. My number one tip: go pt.com and get those recipes. Okay, you have a great day, and it was great talking to you. You as well. Thank you so much, Chef G. Garvin. Thank you.